He used to uh, read this book to, uh, to to his community throughout the whole month of uh, Rabi al Awal, from the first day up to the last day. And now I remember uh, after I spoke to him, and then on the weekend, and I drove to Al Huda <laughs> to see if I can look for the book, and I find the book is like seven volumes. <laughs> so. Uh, but um, in any case, Alhamdulillah, we will have a PDF, uh, so we can, <laughs> we can use it. Uh, it's the same, same book that we've been reading over the years, uh, just to take a few hadiths, because uh, you must remember the setup in the community of Sheikh Ibrahim anhu was that uh, everybody was, al- was available every day, so every night they would be able to gather in the masjid. And uh, uh, Sheikh Ibrahim anhu was very much fond and taken by the love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he would go through this program every every day of the month. But also, uh, it has been his practice to recite these three pasidas that we have recited now every day from the first of Rabi al-Awwal until the twelfth of Rabi al-Awwal, uh, just to welcome that day by um, uh, uh, by. Uh, re- reminding ourselves about the, the, the uh, these pasidas, they contain some history of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and some of his virtues, and uh, and and some of his realities, uh, as it was compiled by the uh, some portions contained the compilation of some of the sahabas how they used to describe Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and and praise him and others by later uh, uh, earlier that compiled couplets in praise of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is more like uh, you know when you are uh, in your in uh, uh, when you have a, a, a wedding or a walima <laughs> um, you 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 have a, a, a three course meal or you have a five course meal or you have a seven course meal <laughs> so you know when it's month of Rabi al-Awwal we have a 12 course meal <laughs> because every every night is more like you are preparing to anticipate that 12th day. Uh, although to celebrate the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it needs to be something that we do it every moment, uh, whenever we get a chance to do it. It is not something that is specific only to that specific day, but this day is in a way also significant because uh, it is a day in which Allah chose to, 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 to bring Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam into this uh, into in, in, into this life. So so these reminders, uh, the qasidas that we sit uh, every day in the evenings, they are very uh, great to take part in them. But not only just to take part in them, but to also try to reflect on the meanings of what they mean. Because this is a, a renewal. Uh, is, is a renewal for us uh, uh, to, to always remind ourselves about Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It always renews our iman. It renews the, our iman in that which he brought, which is the, the, the truth. Uh, Allah sent the truth through to him. Uh, his book, the Quran, which is supposed to be the guide, guidance of mankind. There is no more prophet after him. And that is all what we have. So this is it's like to re- renew the, the, the our vows, uh, wedding vows, <laughs> or marriage vows, or the, the, uh, the word nikah in Arabic actually refers to a, 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 a contract, something that binds you, that uh, joins you, like uh, something that gathers you with another. So in a way, so that uh, special <coughs> relationship that we have with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and also. Uh, I don't know if it's incidentally or coincidentally, the, 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 the word Rabi'ah, which is the Rabi'ah al-Awwal, uh, means in Arabic language spring, and spring is also the time of renewal, where you, things become uh, renewed, when after the land was dead, Allah sent down the rains, and then the warmth start coming in, and then the trees, they start blooming, and uh, the flowers start coming out, so that is a period of uh, renewal. So also to sit in this, uh, 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 to spend time 
in celebrating Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uh, following in the footsteps of Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu uh, who really uh, paved the way for us in terms of uh, packaging the message of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam how to best follow it in the time that we, uh, we find ourselves in it is, is really good and is really of benefit and is good for our, our iman it revives our iman the Prophet sallallahu said none of you believe la yu'minu ahadukum hatta akuna ahabba ilihi min walidihi wa waladihi wa nasi ajma'in none of you believe until I am more beloved to him or her uh, more than his parent, more than his child, more than the, all the people, meaning anybody, if you find anyone who uh, you think is more special to you than Rasulullah according to this hadith, you don't have Iman, because uh, he says you don't have Iman, you, none of you believe, because you have, you have not really truly understood who Rasulullah is. So destroy and finish all connections and all relationships and connect yourself with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then your iman will be complete. Sayyidina Umar tried his luck. You know when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, none of you believe when he said this. And then uh, Sayyidina Umar he said, I more love to you than uh, uh, my parents, my child, all the people except my own self that is between my two sides. <laughs> Rasulullah sallam said to Umar, none of you believe until I more love to him than his child, his parent, his, all the people together, including your own self that is between your two sides. <laughs> then uh, at that moment, the hymn of Rasulullah sallallahu sallam, because now uh, Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab is a talibi, Rasulullah is a sheikh, <laughs> He raised his, his himma in uh, uh, connection spiritually. And then uh, he, he, at that moment, Allah he filled his heart complete, 100% with Rasulullah, the, the love that he had for him. Then he said, Oh Prophet, I love you more than myself, more than my parents, my child. Eh, all, eh, all people put together including more than my own self that is between my two sides mm -hmm. then the Prophet Sallallahu said Ya Umar, al-ana Ya Umar and only now your Iman is complete eh, said, no, Umar. Mm -hmm. now this uh, it shows and it indicates that uh, the Rasul Sallam he, he is trying to teach us what will make us successful in this life we must understand that our life in this life is, is temporary, is not permanent. And so we, we, we must use it and we must try to do the most important thing before our time come. Because if our time come, we can't come back uh, to do what we, we were supposed to do. So to be able to do that, Rasulullah Sallallahu he guide us what is best for us and what is good for us. And he knows what is good for us. Because already Allah ordered him in the Quran to teach us these things. He, he, he don't tell us that we must follow him or love him because he, uh, because he, he, he wants to be respected and no. Allah ordered him already to do it. Even if he didn't want to do it, he had no choice in the matter. Uh, when some people come to uh, Rasulullah sallam and they say, we love Allah. You no, know, they, they they try to look at Rasulullah as somebody who was just a postman who came with a, 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 a an envelope with a message from Allah and to say here's your message and then they thought to themselves that they don't need Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they they don't really uh, what you call as long as they have the Quran they don't care about Rasulullah because now they already have the Quran but Allah corrected their understanding and their and their and their near and their link to say, hey, it doesn't work like that. Allah revealed straight away. In fact, the, the, the ayah Allah revealed, it begins with Qul. All the Mufassirin agree. Whenever the, 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 the ayah begins with Qul, it means a, a question was posed to Rasulullah and there was no delay in responding to it. Immediately when this happened, Allah sent Jibreel salam straight away say, hey, Tell them, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهَ Tell them, hey, if you claim to love Allah, 
then follow me. Right? Direct the, the answer, the, the, what you call it, comes. This is to correct this notion that we don't need Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi or to give Rasulullah Sallallahu a very small position as some people do now. May Allah protect us from this. Okay. The, the Sahabas, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'in, they achieve what they achieve because of the love Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had, uh, they, they had for him. Uh, some, some of them, they will go through some sacrifices and difficulties and they sometimes they, 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 they would cry and when they, when they ask them why are you crying they say no my life is all uh, uh, finished in trying to service the Prophet Sallallahu but now I wish I have thousand more lives to do this because this one life is not enough this is how much they love Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and there's a hadith that is, comes in Sahih al-Bukhari uh, um, I don't remember what was the expedition but Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam dispatched a group of Sahabas to, sit, to go and, and do some, uh, uh, what you call, some activities and engage them. Uh, some kuffar who are uh, trying to uh, put the light of Allah and, and to stop Islam. Mm. Now, w when they met with the enemy, the enemy tried to f uh, destroy and finish all of them. The last one of them, he, he announced, he looked in the heavens when he saw that everybody else that were with him, they were all killed by the, by, 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 by the kuffar at the time. He talked to Allah, he said, Oh Allah, please inform our Nabi what happened to us. At that moment of uh, his last breath, instead of turning to Allah, he's more concerned about if Rasulullah Sallam <laughs> Rasulullah must know what happened to us. But Allah himself is witness to all of this. But he said, oh Allah, you, and then they say Allah made it in such a way that the one person that escaped, he ran with the horse and then he explained to Rasulullah what had happened. You read the commentary of this in the Sahih al-Bukhari. But anyway, my point is that we think the Sahabas, they didn't care much about Rasulullah They only cared about, okay, now we have the Quran, therefore we must do this. It wasn't like that. They cared very much about Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even the, uh, the, the Heraclius, that uh, king, when he uh, saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was amazed at how even the Sahabas conducted themselves around him. They said, we never saw a leader in history who is so loved by his followers that even when he spat on the ground, people will push each other to try and grab that spit and take it and rub it among themselves. Uh, what kind of love is this that they, that they had? And this is what gave them success. Now this, if, even us, if we want to succeed, we, we, we need to pray to Allah to help us with this kind of love. But we can't match the Sahabas, we know. Because the Sahabas, they are very special people that Allah chose, especially to be part of Rasulullah's life and help him to complete this uh, mission and defend the Quran while it was being revealed. But we hope that the, the, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in one, one time he was sitting with the Sahabas radiallahu ta'ala anhum uh, he said I, I, I am yearning to see my, uh, my brothers. So now when the Sahabas they, 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 they hear this Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to them uh, they, they said to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, which brothers are you, you talking about you know and we your brothers, you know. Rasulullah Sallam said, No, you are not my brothers, you are my companions. <coughs> my brothers are those that are coming after me. They did not see me, but they believe in the message which I brought and they yearn to see him. So the he, Rasulullah Sallam he calls it these were his brothers. So we we, we, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put us among those people whom Rasulullah Sallam called that I am yearning to see my brothers. Um, it's, it's something that we, we, we need to see, uh, we need to uh, try to put in our heart to really connect ourselves with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Anyway, we know that it's also not possible to connect ourselves with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam without connecting ourselves with the, his khulafa. Because his khulafa, the shuyukh, the awliya, they represent him. They inherit everything from him, from all his character. Uh, they, they inherit him. So if you want to connect yourself with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you must connect yourself with the awliya. Otherwise there is no, uh, what you call, uh, they, 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 they are no shortcuts. They, you can't jump. Uh, 
you, everything, even when you make a phone call, you, you need that you need that satellite that will connect you the, the the signal. Uh, otherwise, without that uh, s- signal, I ah, know you will be stranded. You, you can't reach your communication can't reach where it needs to reach. So these connectors they connect us with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We need to try to follow them. Uh, step by step because they finish themselves in the love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to, to bless us uh, especially with this month and to use this month to renew our vows, our covenants and to use it as a, a, a time for studying the life of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam dedicate our time and, and do all of this uh, 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 and spend for the sake of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, <coughs> Sheikh Ibrahim mentioned in one of his letters, and he said, "You know, when the uh, the Maulud time comes, some people they can't even slaughter a chicken, but when they get married, they slaughter a whole cow, and they dress beautiful and all these things. Who deserves a better celebration?" Uh, this is what uh, Sheikh Ibrahim uh, wrote. He wrote like this because he is guiding us how we should think. He is guiding us. What is good for us? Sometimes, you know, like Allah says in the Quran, perhaps you like something but it's not good for you. Or you, you don't like something but it is actually good for you. And Allah knows and you don't know. Right? Allah says this in Surah Al-Baqarah in, in the Holy Quran. So that's why we have to cling to the Mashayikh and the Awliya because they can really guide us and connect us with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We can't deal with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam like how you know, it's like, oh no, this is the last last of uh, the possession that I have, almost about to perish, and therefore this is what I'm going to give. No, we have to give our best. And then we will give our best. We must become like Habil, alayhi salam, the son to Adam, alayhi salam. When Allah said, give sacrifice, he took the best produce, best veggies, best, best sheep. And then his other brother, he, he took. He saw the sheep that was almost dying, <laughs> the crops that are almost spoiling. To then he get rid of those ones, and then he wants to present this to Allah. So Allah is not in need of this. Even our loving Rasulullah is for the sake of Allah. Is not for Rasulullah. Don't need our love. Already he received love from Allah. Uh, Allah, he called him his beloved. Allah raised him up uh, to Himself. He have a private conversation with him which he did not even reveal in the Quran. But when you read in the other stories where he communicates and talks with other prophets, he tells everything what they spoke in between. But because that is a matter between the lover and the beloved, there is no third person there. That's why he said, Fa'awha ila abdihi ma'awha. He inspired, he, he mentioned whatever he wished to mention to his slave, and this is enough. What is it? We will never know that that is between the two of them. So, Rasulullah, he don't need, we're not doing him a favor. This is good for us if we do it. We love him because he is the one that Allah sent to teach us about Allah Himself. He tells us how what Allah wants and what Allah doesn't want. Even if we obey him, Allah says in the Holy Quran, whoever obeys the Prophet. He has obeyed Allah. And whoever disobeys the Prophet, there is no need to think about anything. You have also already disobeyed Allah. Because whatever the Prophet say is what Allah he, he, he wants. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep this uh, connection and link with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we, may, may we, uh, 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 Allah give us time to really celebrate Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and, and, and uh, st- try to read up about his life and connect ourselves with him about his mission and truly understood why Allah sent him here and ask ourselves now that we are connected with his way what is our role, what can we do to support him because uh, this mission of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it is there to last ilayum al qiyamah so we need to find ways to understand what is our role in in this, and then and then we support uh, we support him. Inshallah, the, the doors are still open; they are not closed. So long as the the, the dunya is running, the, the, the earth is revolving. People still need the kalima because that was his main mission: to bring as many people as possible uh, into into paradise and save as many possible as uh, many people as possible from the hellfire. Subhanallah, bihamdihi. 
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك ونشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك ونتوب اليك اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما ولقى والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي الى صراطك المستقيم وعلى اله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين